There are so many layers to every story. Some of them are truths. Some have truth. Some are lies. Half lies. His story is his truth. This is what he became when his auntie in Gozi explored his body. He was eight years old, going into nine. His father had just died, and his auntie in Gozi went to spend time with them and console his mother. Aunt Ngozi is his mother's eldest sister's daughter. That was how it all began. Hey, Richie. What's up? Oh, hey, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> You're doing good. How is the hot word? Oh, thanks, man. You know me. Uh, it's tough, but uh, I'll be fine. Yeah, how's that thing you're doing in Lagos? I'm <laughs> um, I'm auditioning today. I need to get all the money I can get in the modeling industry. Right. It is tough here in Lagos. <laughs> wow. I love this. What inspires you? Uh, Salvador Dali. Okay. Um, he's abstract. He does abstract work. He makes me chuckle. Um, you see how he brings childishness into the world of adults. And he does it so freely, so brilliantly. That's why I love him. Yeah, I'm painting this guy. You know what? I, I have to go now, catch the bus. Right, so, man. I'll see you later, yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, lest I forget. What? We have a new neighbor. Okay. And she would love to meet you. Oh, okay. When I come back, just tell me about it, yeah? All right, see. With an ambivalent capacity for exploration, just like a moment of grace, he walked into a room where Antingazi was. She was naked. Yes, yes. He turned away. She called him back and asked him to put his index finger in her vagina. He did. She asked him to smell it. He smelled it. She told him that she was about to do with him what nobody should ever hear of. But she was nine. Nine years older. She was 29 years old. He smelled her vagina. It had a feral scent smell to it. She removed his clothes and he became a part of her brown body. She asked him to push his hand further into her vagina. And Tingozi did this to him until he was 11 years old. Each time she visited, she made sure he was with her. He was afraid to tell anyone. She did this to him until he was 11 years old and he was sent to the seminary where he could only walk with her picture in her head. What are you doing, man? I don't know. Boy, we got new money, man. South side, what up? All my G boys, what up? Ha, <laughs> worry out for man. I'm so high, bro. Drama, let me. Me wake up every early morning. I lick a prayer up on my feet back up on the street. Them keep talking. Them say you do me wrong.
You're not even serious. Oh my god. Richie, this is a beautiful painting. Oh, oh stop whining, god. stop whining, Richie. Who's been whining, Richie? You were born a great painter. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, um, just like my idol, Salvador Dali. Mm. Oh god, don't be Salvador Dali again. Okay, well, Salvador Dali was a Spanish painter mm -hmm. and he once made an artwork called The Great Master Beto. I'm sorry, the great but I almost choked on that. Okay, okay, I'm sorry for laughing. Well, okay, the great master Beto is currently being displayed at the Museo Nacional de Arte, Reina, in Spain. Mm. Yeah. Mm, I know you have something I've up here. Been <laughs> I beg you. Mm. <coughs> what of that your creepy, strange-looking neighbor? Uh, and I told, I saw him this morning, but uh, I don't know when you guys are going to Did you meet. tell him I want to see him? Yeah, I did. Richie, That's did you tell him tomorrow is my birthday? Yes, I did. I did. Richie, you know I want him to come. Yeah. Why do I feel like you're lying to me, Richie? No, no, you know what? Me. Let's do this. Let's have dinner tonight. Dinner on me, three of us. Let's meet at the usual spot, the yeah, restaurant. Sure. Bring him to the restaurant, of course. Let's have dinner. Today. Okay? All right, love. All Take right. care. Take care. See you soon. Okay, no. Richie, make sure you bring him. Yeah, Richie. Is.
my kids, please. Can I use your toilet? No. Why, Stan? Why? No. Why, Stan? I drank too much. You don't want to see a woman pee. Get on your fucking knees. What is my late mother's trick you're doing on your fucking wall? Get on your fucking knees and suck my cock. If you fucking come close to me, I'll fucking kill you. If you fucking come close to me, I'll fucking kill you. Stan, let's try this one more time. My name is Chioma Morales. I am a psychiatrist. The police brought me here to help them understand your mental state. Two of your roommates were found dead in your apartment, strangled. Is there anything you can tell me about what's going on? Stan, you have to say something, anything that you can tell me. I want you to trust me. And they also found pictures of dead women in your bathroom when they searched your house. What is that about, Stan? If you don't talk to me, I cannot help you. I want you to trust me. Get on your fucking knees and suck my cock. 